In Canada, the approach to making wearing face masks mandatory varies from province to province. But one thing is clear. Where they are compulsory, that rule may stay in effect until a vaccine is found for COVID-19. Never before has so much effort been concentrated on vaccine development. And tonight, there is some hopeful news. Researchers in the UK, the US and China say their potential vaccines are showing promising results. But as Redmond Shannon reports, more research is needed to confirm their findings. More than 150 possible COVID-19 vaccines are currently in development. A race not so much against each other, but against the ever-accelerating spread of the virus. This University of Oxford trial tested more than 1,000 healthy adults. They were aged 18 to 55. Half were given the COVID vaccine, the other half another control vaccine. The results appeared to show that the experimental vaccine is safe with only mild side effects and that it provoked both types of immune response as expected. Researchers are still unsure how strong that response needs to be. It may mean that we have to have a really strong response against coronavirus and we have to give more than one dose and those have to be large doses of the vaccine to get that very strong response. That will be part of the next two larger phases of the trial where the people vaccinated are exposed to the virus. And that needs time for those cases to accumulate within the clinical trial to give us confidence, statistically speaking, about whether the vaccine works. There were similarly positive results Monday from a Pfizer vaccine trial and from China's CanSino. That company has partnered with the Canadian government to produce its vaccine. A team at Ontario's Western University is also working on a different potential vaccine. I'm sure there will be more than one vaccine uh, to be used to prevent the COVID-19 infections. Oxford researchers have stressed that their potential vaccine still needs to be proven to work on older people and those with existing health conditions. Those groups will likely be at the front of the line for any rollout, which could happen at the end of this year at the earliest. Farah? Redmond Shannon in London, thank you.